face it, we all love our coffee, but now there's a new way to work those beans, and a lot of people are saying it's the best ever. Larissa Wall's brewing it up and breaking it down. Craft brews are everywhere, except this isn't beer. Move over micro brew, here comes a cold one with a different kind of buzz. This is probably cup number 10 today. That's a lot of Joe, but with a twist. It's called cold brew, and trendy places like the Swell Cafe in San Diego make and serve it cold, as in delete the heat. How we prepare it is fundamentally different in that it's cold water instead of hot water going into the coffee. And instead of taking five to seven minutes to brew, it takes anywhere from 12 to 18 hours, depending on how long we would like it to steep. So if they brew before breakfast, the coffee won't be ready until long after dinner. We'll peek up through. But this slow and heatless process allows the coffee to steep without oxidizing, leading to a better, not bitter, or acidic taste. Bottling it is a snap, and the shelf life is over a year. So guess what? Trader Joe's, Costco, and many grocery stores now carry it. And cold brew is caffeinated, so strong it comes as a concentrate. A 32 ounce bottle, when diluted properly, will make 12 8 ounce cups of coffee. Some brands sell online, and some stores sell cold brew makers for your house. Meanwhile, DIY videos are flooding the web. Here, though, we're going to teach you cold brew. Gradually add cold water. And give it a shake. Great, what's next? Are we adding the water? We have so many coffee choices. Well, just add another one. Coffee, it's the last legal vice. And cold brew, it's no ordinary joke.